Hello there, it's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. Okay, so um, I'm still sort of on the craft verse makes. I can only apologise, I know people don't want to think about Christmas now, but I am, well, I know. There won't be many more, okay? <laughs> well, there's another one, and then we can get back to sort of <laughs> non-Christmas related stuff. Okay, so what I've got here is Christmas fabric, um, sparkly brocade, and what I'm going to do is very carefully, let me just grab a bit of wadding. I haven't got much left. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to make a Christmas card to display uh, a little charm. So the nice thing about making a Christmas card is we don't have to worry about frayed edges because it's not going through the washing machine, is it? So we can just sew on the outer side. Now what I've got here is two layers of fabric and I have the wadding in between. And the nice thing about human beings is even though this fabric is red rather than green, we'll look at it and we'll recognise the shape as a Christmas tree straight away. And it, it's just the way the human brain works. So let me just do a little bit more. And what you can do as well is you can sew this before you cut it and sew out the square and then cut it. Now because I've cut it with the wadding in there, I've got a slightly smaller front piece than I have a back piece. So um, it, just, it just looks that much better. Okay, well, and I've really not got a hang of this new camera angle I'm afraid. So I've got my sewing machine here, all I'm going to do is a white thread and very carefully keeping all three layers together is just sew around this. When I come to a point I'm going to put the needle down, lift the foot up. This just gives me really sharp points. And because I'm using a contrasting coloured thread, it's going to be very, very dramatic. So just make sure that I've got all three bits. It's just curling up there. One thing you've got to watch is that you've got your bobbin thread out of the way, um, just so it keeps it nice and flat. I'm just going down the trunk, two stitches, down it goes, and then up again. Now if you're not happy with your stitching at the end of this, you can always just trim it with a pair of embroidery scissors, uh, nice and fine. and. Um, get your points just as it is and like I said we don't need to worry about washing a card um, so we can leave the edges frayed. So I am coming to the end. stitch just because so there we are we have our our little Christmas tree and that's the side from the inside of the cutting so there we go now I have a blank card here I'm going to open it out and I'm going to place the Christmas tree in the middle I'm just going to take off these ends of threads because I want it to look as neat as possible in a kind of scruffy way 
Now here I have some sticky pads and they're great, um, we can put that down or we can just use a little bit of glue. It really depends what you have, if you don't have any of these um, you want to just put a couple of stitches on there then that's also great. The advantage of that is that it makes, um, yeah, it makes it fully handmade. Now these sticky pads, they're the sort that you use to um, keep the layers built up. So, And they have disappeared, disappeared again. They were where I thought they would be. So yeah, I know, a bit of a name drop there, but um, I use them all the time and they're excellent. So we just place it, I'm going to place it on the back of the fabric. This is so that it doesn't show through because if we placed it on the card and we were a couple of millimetres out then I would I would have it showing through and I really don't want that. So there we are, when it's up that's what we'll be looking at. So lovely. I also have the, the black thread that goes with these little crystal charms and um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my own neck as a measure because you need to get it over your head so it needs to be at least as wide as your head and then we can either do the special knots or we can just do normal a normal knot and there we are I've chosen my charm I'm going to go for a little star at the cross of the tree I'm going to place it in there Pull it round and then I'm just going to do a very simple wreath knot. Okay, so I'm going to pull that tight. Now, what I need to do is I'm going to bend this down slightly and I'm going to take a sticky pad and stick it to the thread, and I'm going to stick it a couple of times just so that this doesn't fall at the back. And then I can place the charm there and place the sticky pad back on the card. And then we can just adjust it so that we're all ready to go. So there we are. Just a very simple make. It's taken me, what, 10 minutes. Okay, I have had to have the, the equipment here for it. Um, I bought the charms as a bulk lot on eBay and obviously the string I also bought on eBay and then the cards from my local craft shop. So yes, there is a lot that you have to, to get ready for this but I think you just get really stunning results. Alright, so very simple make, ideal for a craft fair and um, yeah, I know, I feel like I'm swearing because I'm saying Christmas this early in the year. But if you are thinking about making some homemade presents, then you really have to start thinking about it quite early because, you know, these things take time. All right. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee.